Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have a padded blue mailer here. You know what that means. I have an order from Chic Sparrow to unbox with you guys. It has been a hot minute since I ordered from Chic Sparrow and I actually have an order planned with them as soon as they launch their new number 10 design. I did share a little bit about that in my community tab and they've been sharing on Instagram and I'm so excited for that design. It's like they took my favorite design of all time the E class and they took that and the number eight and they had a baby and they made the number 10. And oh, I just love it. And I love the fact that it's coming in so many sizes and in this beautiful new Italian leather. And oh, I have a wish list already prepared, but that's not what this is about. This is about my little unboxing. So I actually went on Shakespeare's website, not with the intention of placing an order with them. I went on there to look something up to answer a question for someone. And I happened upon a cover that was on sale in the leather that I had been wanting and hadn't bought. And so I decided to order it. And then when I was ordering that, another one came up that I hadn't ordered and I decided to order both. So I have here two covers to unbox with you guys. So let me real quick open up the dust bags and take them out. And then I will show you and talk to you guys about what I bought. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. So I happened upon two passport traveler's notebooks from Chic Sparrow. Chic Sparrow had kind of stopped selling passport notebooks for a while. They do have some in passport size, but they had pretty much switched to just passport plus and larger. So they hadn't really been making passport size for a while, so I hadn't really ordered any of them from them. And when I saw these, this is actually the one that I saw. This is May, which is my birthday month. And I absolutely, let's take this out because I'm gonna change the elastic anyways. I absolutely love this color and love this leather. It is so soft and it is so pretty. And it was in passport size and it was on sale and I just had to get it. It has these beautiful card pockets here. So you can put, do I have, I'm gonna make a big old mess. I'm gonna end up dropping a bunch of stuff. So I have like a gift card and then this little Chic Sparrow card on top of it just so that I don't share the gift card number and then like a business planner card, but you can put your cards there. So you can use this as a wallet or you could use it for your planner and put like washi cutting cards and deco and all the things there. It has the four elastics, just like a regular standard traveler's notebook. I will be changing out these elastics. I'm not a fan of white elastic, but I also really love putting specialty elastic on my traveler's notebooks, especially my passports. It has my favorite pen loop ever, which is this beautiful pen loop that's attached to their secretarial pocket. And it's just awesome because it's not stitched to point this way. So it doesn't get in the way of your inserts and you can train it. It takes a little bit of time, but you kind of bend it and then use it with your pen, but you can train it and it will lay inside like this. So it's not going to stick out like that when you're actually using it and your pen will lay outside of your inserts. And oh, I just, I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I originally went to buy because this was on sale and it was in passport size. And I have been wanting something in this May leather since it came out. And I never bit the bullet and I finally did. And I'm so happy. I have beautiful like fat roll striations on there. Oh, it is so pretty. Now we have to figure out what color elastic we're gonna switch out. I probably won't move into this until March uh, just because of some everyday carries that I'm using currently and things I already have planned for February, but we'll put some sort of fun elastic. Maybe we'll set it up together, but oh, it is so pretty. I'm so excited. So I bought this one in the May, which was on sale. And then I ran into this one, or ran across, not ran into, I ran across this one, which is Strider, and I don't have this leather. It's kind of like the Waypoint leather, but without the oil, which is awesome because then the oil doesn't get on your inserts. I do generally use dashboards in my passport so that that way, the, that way the inserts and planners are protected from the leather, but this way I don't even have to worry about that. It has beautiful texture and 
It also smells amazing, although May smells better than this one. It's a little bit stronger. It has the same, has the same card pockets and elastics and the pen loop. Oh, I'm so excited. So these are passport size and let's see. One of the things that I love about Chic Sparrow's passports is that they have four elastics so you don't have to jump band and they're cut wide enough that things don't stick out if you fill them with all of your inserts. So let me grab a few more inserts. I just have one insert and then some thicker planners, but let me grab a few more inserts so I can show you guys real quick. Okay, so I have a ton of passport inserts in just like grid and blank and lined that I've acquired over the years. And I just keep them in a little bin and I grab from them whenever I need them. There are so many resources for passport inserts. Obviously there's the traveler's company that's kind of started it all. So you can buy theirs. There are shops that make inserts like paper penguin. That's what this one is. There's poppin, which you can buy at Staples and the container store, but they sell these little sets of inserts and they are passport size. That's what this one is. There's Muji. They sell passport size inserts. There's Sterling Ink. She has booklet planners and notebooks in passport size. There's um, the Unemployed Philosophers Guild. There's just a ton. At some point, I am going to have time to make a little article and put up a blog that talks about my love for passport and all the places that you can get passport inserts. But these are four different passport inserts. And so I thought I would show you. Been a while since I've done a passport video, I realized. Like actually showing passports and how I use them. I do actually have one in my purse right now that has my health tracker in it and a little notebook just for like brain dumps, lists, things like that. So I will share that soon. I kind of got away from carrying my passport notebooks as much during COVID because although I was in person the whole time during the pandemic. Um, I didn't go anywhere else. So I went from home to the office and back home. And because of that, I really didn't need to carry a passport wallet with me or a passport notebook for kind of brain dump because I was carrying my tote to work. And so I just had my planner in it or a journal or like a thicker notebook and I didn't need something so portable. But I've been missing my passports so much. So one of my things this year is to use my passport covers and to carry a passport a little bit more. But this is the way, let me put the elastic on. This is the way four inserts fit into the Chic Sparrow cover. So you can see that they don't stick out. If you can see that. Whereas if you put these four in a traveler's notebook cover, they will stick out because this is too much for the single elastic and like the length of the cut of the leather. It doesn't necessarily bother me and it doesn't bother a lot of people, but I prefer this because I don't really like using jump bands. There is an alternative to using jump bands and I will share that in a second, but this is just such a nice fit and it's still really compact. The other benefit to the Chic Sparrow passport covers besides the fit is the pen loop because I do have passport covers from other brands too, like Sojourner, I love her passport covers as well, but she doesn't have pen loops and I really like a pen loop. And so I like the fact that I have a pen loop that's on there that's built in. It's not one of the elasticated ones or like the metal clip one from the traveler's company that you put on there. I absolutely hate those. And so I have a pen and my inserts and I'm ready to go. I could carry this as a wallet planner combo. I just, I absolutely love it. So you can use your four elastics like this. You can also put thicker notebooks or planners in it. They aren't designed for them to fit in the actual planner, like to slide in here. I do think that if you loosened this up a little bit with a letter opener or a butter knife or a bone folder, you might be able to get a planner in the front like that. But because of these pockets, I don't think it would fit very nicely. You can alternatively put a thicker planner or notebook in the secretarial pocket and just kind of slide it in back there. It will stay without a problem and you can carry it like that. Or, and I do have a video on these and I have another video coming because I ordered some other sizes. Lauren Phelps Designs created in a collab these TN sleeves. 
And so this is basically like a vinyl dashboard that allows you to put inserts and or thicker notebooks into a traveler's notebook without using a jump bands. So it slides back behind your elastics like that. And then you have a couple options. You can put a thicker notebook in it. It's a little hard to slide in on the vinyl or yeah, vinyl just because like the texture kind of rubs, especially because I haven't used this tan sleeve. All right. So then you can have your like Sterling Ink compact planner or your half year notebook. That's what this one is, is a half year notebook or the one from the angel shop, someone like that. You can put that into your traveler's notebook and you don't have to put the thicker notebook on the elastics. It will not fit this one though, the TN sleeve. It's not big enough to fit the full year, like the full year super chunky notebook. If you were gonna use this, you would either need to put it on the strings or slip it into the back secretarial pocket or decide if you wanted to try to slip it into this front pocket or you can make a folder in the same kind of similar style. And I do actually have a tutorial. It's from when I very first started my channel. It's quite old, but still works just the same. Um, you can make yourself a little folder that allows you to put thicker notebooks into a traveler's notebook without putting it on the elastic. So I've been making those for years and so you could definitely do that so that you could carry like the full year chunky one. I like these chunky ones in theory, like they look so cute and they're fun, but I don't really like them to use them that much because they're just so chunky. I find them a little bit difficult to write in, but I also prefer them just like in a jelly cover. I like the thinner ones, the happier ones in a cover like this or my inserts in a cover like this. And then the chunky ones I like just in a jelly cover tossed in a bag or on, on the table next to me or in my tote bag or what have you. But you can use these TN sleeves to put in to put in a thicker notebook or a thicker notebook plus inserts because it has these pockets on the outside. So you can slide an insert in the outside front like that and then you have your planner or notebook on the inside and then you have another one back here and you can put another insert back here. Alternatively, let me take this out. You can not use the thicker notebook or planner and you can just use inserts and you can use this TN sleeve and not use the elastics. I know some people don't like to write with inserts on the elastics and some people don't have passport notebooks or passport covers that have four elastics. And so if you have a single elastic or even a double, you want to carry more than one or two inserts, you can get this TN sleeve and then you put an insert in the front pocket, you put one in this side, you put one in this side, and these have little pockets in them also. So you can put ephemera or sticky notes or decor or whatever you want. And then there's this little slip pocket in the back. And so you have your four inserts in there, but none of them are on the elastic. I don't have them all like in here 100% perfect, but it's pretty good. But you don't have to put the elastic on any of them. And that also means that if you wanted to carry a wallet insert in here so that you could have like a zipper pocket, you could put that on these elastics that are in the center. It might cause this to stick out just a little bit just because that's kind of like a lot to chunk it up. But if that doesn't bother you, you could definitely do that. Or you can buy Passport Plus from Chic Sparrow. Then you can put this TN sleeve in it. You can put your four inserts in it or three or two or however many you want. And then you can put a wallet insert on the elastic and you can have this wallet combo with a zipper pocket for change or cash or what have you. You have a pen loop, you have all the things and I think it's awesome. I did take this out because I'm going to change it so I'm just going to stick it on there like that for right now. But that is my May. I'm so excited. I am so glad that I just happened upon this. I'm so excited that it was on sale because I mean, it's always better if you spend less money, 
but I am in love with this color. I am so excited for this. And I love this leather. This is so nice. I just really like it. And I think it's gonna be really durable. I don't think it will scratch up. It's not oily. It's perfect. Like I said, if you wanted to use the thicker book in there, you can. It fits better in a Passport Plus, this chunky one. If you were gonna put it in here, it does better on the elastic. But I still think it fits better in a Passport Plus, the super chunky ones. Like I said, I prefer these just in a jelly cover, but if you were so inclined, you can put it in here, but you'd have to put it on the elastics or make a little folder for it. But that's my unboxing from Chic Sparrow. I just wanted to share with you guys. Like I said, I will be buying the number 10 as soon as they launch. Hopefully I can get all of the ones that I want in the leather that I want. The Italian leather that they're offering, oh, it looks so amazing and the design is just fabulous. So I'm really excited for that. And I'm really excited for all the sizes that it's gonna come in. I'm not 100% sure I remember all of them, but I know Passport, Pocket, B6, Weeks, and Standard are some of the sizes. I think there's A5 also, but I'm not sure if I'm missing any. That may be all of them, but the number 10 looks awesome. As soon as I have more information about that, I will be sharing it, so make sure that you're subscribed and that you're following me so that you see videos when they come up and so you see the community tab posts when I share those. But that's my unboxing from Chic Sparrow. I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm really, really excited. I'm so excited that Chic Sparrow has more passport options on their website now. I'm super excited that they're going to be having passport size in number 10 and that they've recognized that it has become a more popular size again. And I'm in love with these leathers. But that's my unboxing. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to just scribble.